makers welcome back to makers on the move where i look at diy solutions if you want to take your making on the move because it can be a super fun thing to do especially if you have a nice day you can go out and you can get making i'm going to share some quick tips for our diy maker electronics my name's christine if you're new here, I've been making wearables for many, many years, and I've been teaching for over 20 years as well. I've also written a book. It's a guide to making wearable technology. So today what we're looking at is making our electronics portable. So this is fantastic. I have definitely suggested that you use conductive thread for sewing your electronics. This can be a super great way to make your electronics portable because all you need really is your conductive thread. But today we're gonna look at a different solution. A soldering iron you might think is maybe not such a quick and DIY method, but when you have a look at these soldering irons, you too might be convinced to bring one with you. First one I'm going to show you is a portable soldering iron. So what happened was when I was on the move and I created a wearable, one of my connections was incorrect, which does happen. I really wanted to complete the wearable and I didn't know anyone who did have a soldering iron. So I found this little guy here, which was actually fantastic. I wasn't expecting much, but it came in this lovely case. So these are not sponsored products. These are just products I found and thought they were fantastic. It comes in a hard case. And in this case, you can see here, you've got everything you need to get soldering. It even has the little stand so we can stand our solder iron up. It came with solder as well. And it also came with some fantastic interchangeable tips for us as well. We have our cable for charging it, which is fantastic. It came with three different tips, which is great, again, for soldering. So all you need to do is grab the solder iron. I've charged this already because I knew I was going to be using it. Then you just press one of the tips into it. You'll want to take out your little holder. You can get these, which are just fabric that is made specifically for soldering onto. So I do bring one of these with me. It's super lightweight, but it just means you can solder on the go, which is a super helpful thing to do. So I do always carry my maker box with me and it has things like some of the components I might be using. Usually I have batteries in here, but today, cause we're doing soldering, it also has things things like a whole bunch of wires that I use. And I always use silicone wires. Um, you've heard me say that a million times before, I'm sure. But before you go, I actually have another product that you might want to have a look at. This is actually my favorite soldering iron. It's a TS100 by Miniware. It is a fantastic solder iron. It has hot swappable tips, so you could just pull these out and plug them in even while your solder iron is on. So I love this little guy, but he's a lot more expensive. So traveling with him, I might prefer to travel with the cheaper option. But if you already have one of these, then all you need to do is get yourself a nice silicone cable. And this here is a amazing charge point. So it's a PD charger. And this means you can take this guy on the go. Get him plugged in to your charger and for maker on the move, this is perfect. So we'll turn this on. I've um, got him up to 410 and he heats up super quick when you're using this, super quick. And then this way you can see exactly how much power you have left. You've got the full power of an amazing solder iron. So for maker on the move, you could try this combo. The other thing about these battery packs is this one also has the charge point so you can have it charge your phone, wireless charge. So these are products that I have personally purchased and that I personally use when I am making on the move. Depending on where I'm going, I will usually take my lovely little mini wear with me, but I can't believe I found this beauty for 20 bucks. 
all I'm going to do is I am going to solder one of my little LED strips because these are super useful in projects and I find I use them a lot. So this will be one of the things to solder. What you're going to look out for is make sure the arrows are going in that direction so you'll solder on that side. I'm going to take my three different wires. I'll cut enough so that there won't be any problem with attaching it in any kind of wearable that I'd like. So I always add a little bit more wire than I think I might need because it's much easier to cut the wire rather than solder another piece of wire to it. So I'm just measuring out my wire. We're going to turn the iron on. It's got our power button in the middle and then the temperature will come up and we can select our temperature. Here we can see our solder iron is up to temperature and now what I'm going to do is just solder on to the LED strip here. So for me I'm going to just literally tap some solder to just cover each of these pads. Once that's done we're just going to remove a little bit of the ends of the silicone and then I'm going to do similar. I'm going to give them a twist and then I'm going to add the solder to these wires. And then once that's on, all you're gonna do is tap the wire onto where you've already pre-soldered and then it will form that nice, nice tight connection for you. So that was using our portable solder iron. As you can see, we've got no wires, it's been charged. You're not gonna be able to solder huge projects, but to be able to fix your circuits, it's a really good investment. It also has a light that comes out, which really helps guide your soldering. So this would be one of my highly recommended products. A few things that make a really good portable solder iron, things that you're gonna look out for is to see if it's cordless or USB powered. And also try and see if it has a rapid heat up. You don't wanna be waiting around for a long time for these guys to heat up, especially if you're operating on limited power. The other thing is you're gonna want a set that is very lightweight. This one here is very lightweight, very compact for this one. It is a little heavier, but it is a smaller device. So again, depending on where you're traveling to, and what you're making, it'll be up to you for you deciding the types of solder iron that you want. Also important is check that they have adjustable temperature. Both of these solder irons do have adjustable temperatures, so that might be something you factor into your decision. One last tip is when you're packing away your solder iron, I usually have a dedicated separate container. So this one did come with its own little pack, so that's great, but this one did not. So I have a little plastic container that I use where I can store my items like my solder, my tip tinner, my brass for cleaning off my ends and so on. So you might want to create a little dedicated container so that you can keep all your things with you. Even things like your wires are going to be pretty important. Please comment below if you have any questions or if you don't know where to start. I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching Maker on the Move. I hope it's inspired you maybe to get making on the move. It's a bit easier than it maybe sounds.